Tuesday evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tim Seaman. And I'm Sophie Erber. You can call it a political prelim with the main event now exactly five months away. With voters across Iowa and South Dakota today selecting candidates that will appear on the general election ballot coming up November the 8th. It's all our top story tonight at 10. Perhaps the closest watched race locally here included candidates on each side of the aisle running for U.S. Senate, and one of them is advancing to the general election. Mike Franken has been declared the winner now in the Democratic primary for the Senate seat. Franken up against a Glenn Hurst and Abby Finkenauer in this race. And Finkenauer initially uh, seemed to have the uh, momentum, I guess you would say, after previously serving in the U.S. House of Representatives from 2019 to 21. But then you may remember she got caught up in a ballot signature a situation that went all the way to the state Supreme Court before it was ruled that her name would appear on the ballot. But tonight, it's Mike Franken's name that gets the most votes. The retired U.S. Navy Vice Admiral, serving nearly 40 years, is the winner tonight. He spoke just a short time ago. Had a fabulous group of volunteers. They, they rose from the, the cornfields of, of Iowa to support us in every corner of the state. And consequently, it was just a matter of time before we punched through our message. And here we are. Now, polling showed Finkenauer had a double digit lead as recently as April, but recent polling showed that gap had disappeared. Franken gained some name recognition just two years ago when he ran to try to knock off then uh, and still seated U.S. Senator Joni Ernst. He ended up losing that race. He'll now face Chuck Grassley, another strong Republican in the general election, coming up in November. Now let's take a look at the Republican side of this race. That's right. Dominated, we know, of course, by 88-year-old incumbent Chuck Grassley in that seat. The Associated Press tabbed Grassley, who is now seeking his eighth term, the winner. That was about a half an hour after the polls closed. Jim Carlin, a Sioux City attorney and state senator, uh, that is Jim Carlin, first elected back in 1981, Chuck Grassley was. And he says tonight, there is still more work to be done for him. Thank you to all of you who supported my renomination so that we could go to victory November the 8th to turn around the bad policies of this administration. I've heard at my county meetings about inflation, about high gas prices, about uh, the border not being secured. Only once since 1980, when Grassley first ran, has a Democratic challenger been able to collect even 40% of that vote. He will again be heavily favored heading into November, where he will now, we know, meet Franken. Meanwhile, Sioux City State Senator Jim Carlin, who was also on that ballot, acknowledged that he had an uphill battle against the veteran politician in Grassley. But when we talked with him earlier today, Carlin acknowledged the final results tonight are bigger than just one race. Uh, I think the Republicans are going to take back control of the House and the Senate pretty easily with the way things are. People's everyday lives and incomes are being affected by massive inflation that's taken away as much as a sixth of their income, a sixth of their retirement.